What's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having a battle against Ian in the NU tier. And uh, before this video begins, I want to address the elephant in the room. Why the hell have I not been uploading? And the reason for that is I've been stupid busy. My One of my stepsisters is actually getting married this weekend. And we've had family in and out of our house like non-stop making noise and shit. And it's just not the greatest situation for recording. So I apologize for that literally nothing I can do and uh, unfortunately I'm gonna be busy for like the next two weeks with some other stuff um, so for the next two weeks or so contents gonna be kinda slim I will record any chance I get though so um, yeah I just wanted to address that uh, but anyway looking at Ian's team he has a pretty scary looking team he's got the Cradily which could set up stealth rocks he's got the Golbat which is bulky as shit <laughs> Um, he's got the Aselgore, which could set up spikes and could also have the final gambit, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, Lantern, once again, bulky as shit. Drapion is always a problem for me if it wants to like set up on me or if it's Choice Scarf Drapion, stuff like that. And then finally, the Minior, which, <laughs> holy shit, how is this thing in you? This thing gets fucking shell smashed? That's disgusting. But anyway, looking at my team, I actually got this team from PokeAim. And uh, I've been wanting to use more Alolan Exeggutor because I think it's just fucking funny looking. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this was actually Choice Specs Alolan Exeggutor. This thing hits like a damn truck, <laughs> as we'll see in this battle. And then next we have Steelix, which Steelix actually surprised me a lot today. I did a couple battles with this team, and uh, Steelix was tanking hits, as Steelix does. <laughs> actually took a couple hits I didn't think it would be able to, so I was, I was very, very impressed. And uh, if anybody's curious, I do leave the set uh, information in the description below. It's always at the bottom of my Sun and Moon battles. I didn't do that for Oris or X and Y battles, but ever since Sun and Moon, I started doing that. So if you ever have a question as to what mons I'm using or what sets, always check the description. <laughs> um, so next we have Choice Band and Cineroar. We have Fidenium Z Hitmontop, which... <laughs> so not this battle, but I had a, another battle after this one with my friend Alex and on the very first turn of the battle I led him on top and he led with his own Cray Dilly and I O-code his Cray Dilly with fucking Z uh, close combat which was fucking insane um, this is more of like a offensive hit on top next we have the Dodrio and finally we have a slow bro so both of us had pretty powerful teams this was an awesome battle guys I hope you'll enjoy it So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with Carolina, the Alolan Executor. My opponent is going to lead off with Floppy, the Cradilly. And forgive my voice, guys, it's a little scratchy. I'm fighting a cold right now. But um, I actually predicted my opponent to predict me to lead off with Steelix to set up Stealth Rocks. So I thought he was going to lead off with Lantern, but unfortunately that's not the case. So I'm going to bring out my boy Carlton here, dancing on the battlefield as usual. And uh, this is okay for me because if he went for Toxic, that's fine. Carlton's honestly the only mon on my team that I don't mind getting toxic And if he sets up rocks, which he did, um, I can just rapid spin those away. So I'm just going to go for the fake out here on the off chance he wanted to swap. Um, just to get some chip damage. We actually score a crit there. Not that it matters at all. That did like bup kiss damage. <laughs> but I mean, like I said, the, the point of that was to just get some chip damage off. And uh, here I'm just going to rapid spin and get rid of his rocks because rocks are very annoying for A, my Incineroar, and B, my Dodrio. So, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing my voice. Um, so he's going to go for the Toxic here. Like I said before, I don't really mind this too, too much. Um, unfortunately, though, it's going to make the turns go by so damn slow because he's going to get Leftovers Recovery. I'm going to get fucking Toxic Damage. <laughs> So, right here, I actually was trying to style on this man. Um, so, I actually went for the fight in EMZ close combat, as he is actually going to predict that flawlessly and go into the Golbat here. And now, of course, Golbat, being a poison flying type, quad resists my fighting attacks. So, even though I'm adamant and this is a monstrous attack, Golbat is literally going to eat this. This is fucking delicious. So, uh, Golbat's going to catch these hands real quick. But unfortunately, it does like no fucking damage. That is, that is honestly laughable damage. <laughs> um, so I don't get his Golbat's nickname. I don't know if that's like a reference or something. But <clears throat> excuse me again. Sorry, my voice is like gone. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna bring out Herbert here, 
And I was a little bit afraid of the Super Fang, but he actually just goes for Brave Bird here. And uh, Slowbro eats those for breakfast. And uh, he's going to do about the same amount of damage as I did to him. Maybe a little bit more um, with that all-out pummeling. So Herbert here going to eat some leftovers. Obviously, he's Evil Light, so he doesn't have leftovers or anything, which, <laughs> which helps the uh, length of the video here. So he's actually going to swap back out into Floppy, predicting the Scald, I'm assuming, um, because he does get access to Storm Drain or whatever. But uh, I just go for the side shock here, and because of that damage, it tells me that he's probably not physically defensive. He's probably one of those specially defensive Cradilies, just because he kind of didn't take the side shock very well, considering I'm like not invested in special attack whatsoever. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm gonna bring out my boy Carlton once again, and uh, I was kind of expecting him to go for like Leech Seed or something, but. Anyway, he goes for Toxic, but I'm already paralyzed, or I'm already Toxic, rather. <laughs> Jesus. And uh, so that obviously doesn't matter. So I'm just going to go for Close Combat here as he is going to predict me once again. I'm making very, very predictable plays here. Um, but he's going to predict me once again and go out into the Golbat. I kind of, honestly, I kind of want to throw, like, I think Hitmontop gets access to um, Stone Edge. I kind of want to throw that on there. But I don't know what move I would get rid of on this set. But anyway, <laughs> side rant or side uh, conversation over. Um, I'm gonna have to obviously get out of here because I do not want to take a brave bird or whatever. So he's actually gonna swap here, pull in the double, and he brings out Kid A, which is going to be the Acelgor. So I'm not sure what the hell this thing's gonna do to me. I don't know if he's gonna like try to set up spikes or if he's just gonna try to maybe final gambit or something. But I bring in Slowbro here, it's obviously not a good switch in for me because I know he gets access to Bug Buzz. I bring out my Incineroar here, honestly, this was a bad play for me because that Bug Buzz does a shit ton of damage and losing Incineroar was kind of bad for me, but because of the damage that I took, Incineroar was honestly not a great help for my team after that, so I just decided to let Incineroar die. Which kind of sucks, but now I'm going to bring in my Choice Scarf Dodrio, so I definitely outspeed this thing. He's going to get the hell out of here. He's going to bring out the Flash, which is his Lantern. I I fucking hate Lanterns so much, guys. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird here, and it actually does a sizable amount of damage considering it's resisted. Um, so once again, that kind of tells me he's maybe especially defensive Lantern rather than physical. Um... So I don't know what, I'd have to look at his team once again, but I don't know if he even has like a physically defensive wall at all. <laughs> um, but anyway, here, I'm just going to bring out Carolina and uh, I can basically eat anything he wants to go for, barring him having Ice Beam. And most Lantern generally don't have Ice Beam unless they're the Assault Vest set, which I knew from playing him before that it probably wasn't the Assault Vest set. And I think I actually saw the leftovers previously. So... I'm going to get hit by some burn here. Unfortunately, he does get the Scald burn, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because I'm a special attacker, not a physical attacker. And uh, he's going to go for the Volt Switch here. So I'm actually just going to drop a Specs Draco as he brings out the Golbat here. And holy shit, guys, look how much damage this does. So Specs Draco is not fucking around. And uh, this actually ends up killing the Golbat from almost full health. That is fucking wild considering how bulky Golbat usually is. Uh, with the Eevee Light, so I definitely do not mind that whatsoever. That's one of his walls down, and uh, that really, really helps my case here. So he's going to bring out the Cradily now, and uh, I'm obviously going to have to switch out here because I have that minus uh, one or two special attack or whatever that you get from Draco. Um, so I'm going to bring out Carlton once again. going to get the Useless Intimidate as he does set up rocks once again. Um, I believe here I just go for the Close Combat. Uh, because I know that Carlton actually can tank hits from the rest of his team, so I, I'm pretty safe in just going for the close combat here um, instead of just getting the rapid spin off. So I do go for the close combat here. To my surprise, it actually kills the Cradilly, so he was definitely specially defensive rather than physically def or yeah, physically defensive. So um, like I said before, he's going to get out of here, but I feel safe that from the HP I'm at, even after the toxic damage, I can get another rapid spin off. So I'm not too worried about that. He's going to bring out Cuddles, which is his Drapion. 
and I kind of felt like he was probably going to set up, but he actually goes straight for the knockoff, and even with the defense drop from the close combat, I actually tank that, and I'm able to go for a rapid spin here, and that's going to get rid of his rocks for the rest of the game. He no longer has a hazard setter on his squad, so I'm going to die to the Toxic here, and this Drapion, thank God, it didn't set up on me, but it's still a possibility that it is Scarfed, so I'm going to bring in Steelix here, even though, even if he has Earthquake or whatever, um, Steelix is a bulky piece of shit, so Boulder Boner here takes the knockoff, fucking eats that for breakfast, and uh, I'm going to set up some late game rocks of my own here, <laughs> um, because it definitely, it definitely helps wear down his team a bit. Um, so he's going to go for the Earthquake here. Look at this fucking damage, dude. Steelix is so fucking impressive. Holy shit. I'm not even... I don't even have defense investment, guys. And I just ate that like it was fucking nothing. So I'm going to go for the Earthquake here. And Steelix actually Oko... Well, not Oko's because it had damage prior. But Steelix actually kills off the Drapion with an Earthquake. That is fucking impressive. I don't care who you are. But uh, he's going to bring out Kid A once again. Once again, I don't know the reference. I don't know if that's like some game thing or whatever. Who knows? But right here, he's just going to kill off Steelix with the energy ball, which is unfortunate. But Steelix definitely did well here getting rid of, um, getting rid of his Drapion as well as setting up rocks. So here, I'm going to bring out Tripolar, which is my uh, Dodrio. I definitely outspeed him. He's going to bring out Flash once again. And uh, now he's going to start taking rocks damage, and Lantern doesn't have, like, great uh, recovery options. So I actually predicted that. I went for the return here, but after the leftovers, I wasn't confident that another return was going to kill. And I'm glad I did this. I actually swap out. And we'll see here, he actually goes for the protect as I bring in my Alolan Executor. So that was a great play for me, and honestly, <laughs> that was like the final nail in the coffin or in the coffin for <laughs> what the fuck did I just say coffin <laughs> anyway that was the final nail in the coffin for my opponent here <laughs> man I'm like not talking right my voice is like shot <laughs> I'm gonna like listen to this back and just hear how bad my voice is it's so scratchy but um he just goes for the scald there I'm obviously gonna eat that up it's four times resisted and uh, I'm gonna just go for the energy ball here that is going to kill off the lantern and I believe he has, what, two more mons left, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, he's got this thing. So he brings out Kid A here, the Excelgore. He's now going to start taking some rocks damage. So I'm actually just going to decide to let Alolan Exeggutor go down here. Um, so that's unfortunate. But it allows me to bring out my good old Dodrio here. And uh, instead of going for the Brave Bird, I actually, because I knew he had, he had the Minior in the back, I just went for a return. I mean, either way, it's resisted, but I feel like return probably... Well, no. I guess Brave Bird would have been the better option there, but it doesn't matter anyway. Um, so he's going to bring out the Minior here, and this thing is a damn monster. I was terrified of this thing um, because it gets the Shell Smash shenanigans going, and it's, it's really hard to stop. So he's going to come out on the battlefield with a shell up and uh, I'm going to actually swap here because if he got two shell smashes he definitely would have won I think but um, I only want him to get one shell smash up so he actually could have gone for it here but um, he's obviously going to get another defense drop he didn't want to do that so he just figured it's probably better just to attack so here he's just going to go for the acrobatics and uh, Slowbro eats a plus two acrobatics from Minior like it's fucking nothing. Like this is, it doesn't even do half. My man Herbert out here eating fucking hits like, like nothing. And uh, I just go for the Scald there. To my surprise, it actually kills. I was a little shocked. I thought it would live, but barely. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> I actually kill him, and that is game. So good game, Ian. Um, sorry for my voice. Sorry for me messing up the commentary a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm a little rusty. I haven't been doing this for, like, a week now. <laughs> but uh, I promise, guys, we'll be back soon. So I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. Peace out.